Super Tuesday could be a gauge for how Minnesota farmers are feeling about the 2020 election. Back in 2016, much of rural Minnesota voted for President Donald Trump. But over the past few years, farm families have dealt with wet weather and a trade war with China. John Lortzen talked with some farmers about what they're looking for from President Trump and his opponents. They're very core. They are very independent. They are business people, and they, they try to make a living on this landscape. Dave Farr is a farmer and an agronomist. As part of his duties, he works with farm families across the state. Over the past couple years, he's watched them struggle with Mother Nature affecting their yields and prices affecting their bottom lines. I think they want a fair shot in the marketplace. I think they want a level playing field worldwide to market their products. Which is why Farr says many farmers initially supported President Trump's trade war with China, including Mike Penny, who farms near LaSalle. I think we're doing the right thing with this trade war. Um, the only problem is it's going to take some pain in the meantime. But Penny believes there are farmers who are growing frustrated. Between September 2018 and September 2019, more than 30 Minnesota farms filed for bankruptcy. That was a 10 year high. Still, other political components, such as regulations and conservative views, will play a major role come November. I would say. You know, if you look at that in the past, uh, you know, the rural part of Minnesota has been, uh, uh, and the people who farm the land and who live in our rural communities have, have been, you know, a little bit more on the conservative side of that agenda. So I don't know if that moves a lot. What I don't want to see is have us just quit what we're doing. If we do elect, you know, a Democratic candidate, just stop what we're doing and go back to the way it was and, and show us as a, um, show some weakness on our side. In Lesseur County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Other farmers we talked with said farm prices also affect dealerships and lenders, and candidates will have to prove they can help all aspects of the agriculture business.